Okay, well I had a few things set up, I thought I would do a quick video on, uh, on the buddy boxing. Um, I had a fair bit of trouble yesterday trying to get um, a buddy box to work and I had a lead that was um, mono to mono and uh, it was just one that I made up myself. But the mono to mono um, doesn't really fit because of the, the space in here um, inside the DX5 just doesn't doesn't quite connect in there. So I think I think if I took the plastic off of there, that might fit. But um, even when I use the adapter, so if you um, email Horizon Hobby and say that you've got a DX5 E with a um, a trainer port on the side, um, and they'll put there be a PDF PDF on their website with some details, they'll send you out for free. Um, one of these elbow connectors and now um, I'm probably a bit disappointed with Spectrum um, and how they've done their trainer ports just because um, there's been a fair bit of trouble with them and uh, even when they've provided um, this add-on this doesn't seem to work when I'm using a, uh, a USB so this is what I use with my um, computer just using with FMS and that fits in and it um, seems to work but uh, if I plug both of them in it, it doesn't work and I think it's something to do with the um, the length of the, the, the um, pin here before it gets to the, uh, the, the black so a, a different so I think it's shield and then it's either um, tip positive and so left and right but these are mono so it's just shield and tip really isn't it I'll oh, ground and tip. Uh, I think it's to do with the band here, that black band and how wide it is. But I have had some success um, and I read on the forums and so I thought I'd give it a go with the Horizon Hobby adapter. So they've sent out this uh, mono to mono. Well, I believe it's mono in there, not really sure. And so with that in the side, and I've soldered up my own um, stereo cable. So um, left, right and shield, but I've, I've also had success with just a computer cable, so this is just a, a uh, stereo to stereo, That's, that works as well, just wasn't quite, as, quite long enough, so I've soldered up my own stereo to stereo, plugged that in to the um, DX5E, and that uh, seems to be connected, and then the DX6i uh, is the connection in the back. Now, neither of these transmitters are ones listed on the Horizon Hobby website for uh, recall or, um, or testing. They both um, seem to be working okay. It's just trying to find the right combinations for the trainer leg. I dare say if I went and bought the, the uh, Spectrum cord for, I think it's about 15 or 20 bucks, it would work. Uh, I wanted sort of a solution right now. Um, so I've, I've come up with something that, that's working. So I've got my um, DX6i bound to this receiver and so if I just take that cord out and I'll take that one out just so that receiver's off. Power on and we've got rudder, elevator, ailerons, left and right and so um, I did need to set up a new file in the DX6i um, just with pretty much all the default settings um, and making sure that I'm not having any mixing between the two aileron channels because uh, the DX5 doesn't have that ability so you need to use a wire harness if you're going to do it with two servers for the ailerons. So um, I've just turned them both off, plug it in, plug the second one in and I don't need to power that one on, that's powered on um, just from plugging this in, but I do need to power this on. Um, when they've got the trainer port in, they'll get power except for they're not uh, transmitting any signal. So currently this is on, but it's not transmitting a signal. If I turn it on now, it should uh, be ready to transmit a signal. So there we go. My ailerons left and right, Oop, throttle, and uh, elevator rudder all working. And you need to make sure that you've got exactly the same setup between the two and the reverse and do all the same as well. So now if I hold down my trainer switch, uh, I don't have any control. 
on this. So when I hold it down, I've got nothing, but if I let it go, I can control it. But if I do hold it down again with the second person, they've got control of the ailerons and throttle and elevator and rudder. So there it is working um, with a stereo cable into the back of the DX5E um, to stereo this side as well and through the adapter. I do think I could get it to work, though I don't have enough cord. Um, just by, I, I tested um, how this lead works. So I got a, a multimeter and put it on the shield and the tip and it was coming, it, this uh, shield was connected to here and the tip was connected to there. I think the, the shorts coming from um, that band in, in these mono plugs not being long enough. I do think that I could get it to work if I used um, a mono plug but without that casing just put some heat shrink around that. So that mono plug fits in and it connects. If I did the same thing with a um, stereo jack, it doesn't stay on. It, it, it powers back off, so it must be a short in there. So I think I could get it to work by having a mono into this side, into the DX5E, and having that um, wired around to this end of the cable and having a stereo on this side. So if I replaced that stereo with a mono, but rather than put this plastic back on, just put some heat shrink to wrap it up so that it fit all the way inside, I think I could probably get it to work as well. So I thought I'd just give it a try with um, a little bit of cable that I had left. I've um, just got a, a mono plug on here and rather than putting the shielding or the plastic casing around the outside of it like I usually would, um, that doesn't fit inside this hole. So I've just put a bit of heat shrink around there and uh, that connection seems to be okay. And then the, this one, um, I tried the exact same thing with a mono uh, plug and it didn't seem to work. So there you go, if you want to build your own cord I think you need to have a stereo side on the uh, Spectrum DX6i and a mono on the DX5E. Um, so plug that in and that seems to power it up. I can turn that one on to turn the um, transmitter on. Now I've got ailerons there. Um, if I hold down the trainer, and this is the thing that uh, tells you if it's going to work or not. If I, um, I'll just take that one out for a second. If I grab this one that I've made just with the mono to mono, and it's not plugged in the other side yet, but if there's no connection, um, so if I plug that in, powers up, okay, we've got LCD powered up. Um, if I turn the transmitter on, I've got control, hopefully. So we go, I've got control, but even when I push the trainer up, I've still got control. So it's just saying that it's not getting any information back from the other transmitter. Um, and I'll quickly give you a demo of that one. So here's a mono to mono. Just took the, sh the plastic covering off so it fits in. There you go, it powers up, but still, um, I've still got control even when I'm holding the switch down on this one, and therefore nothing on that one. So mono to mono doesn't seem to work. This little short test cable that I've made, stereo to mono, mono side on the DX5E, stereo side on the DX6I, and control, when I switch it up, I've no longer got control, but I do have it over here. And my wiring in here, it was just, uh, um, the tip and the um, shield or the um, collar or whatever it's called and here I've just got red to the tip uh, I've got white to this um, sleeve I think it's called, yeah tip and sleeve so red to the tip, white to the sleeve and nothing going to the middle so that, that middle pin's just left um, left off and it seems to work so you get a bit of a close up there and I've already put heat shrink around that, but that's exactly the same. It's just red to the tip and white to the sleeve. And uh, hopefully that will work for you.